We are here at Protective Film Solutions, Florida's location in Fort Lauderdale. Get excited. We have a huge car delivery just outside the door, but I wanna quickly show you guys why we are here. So this is Ryan's Audi R8. Ryan is going to be doing the PPF on my Carbon Senna, as well as we will be doing an insane livery. Now, I know you guys are super pumped on what is my brand new Inozatec Super Gloss DD 720 GTR pink. This is it right here. It's an insane color. In fact, the camera never does this actual color justice. You have to see it in person. It's already been cut up because they did a special project with a little bit of my film. I give them permission to use some of the film that we're going to be using on my car. And they did this crazy a board that you use in water. It has a motor, I believe, that you like stand on it and like rips through the water like a hydrofoil type thing. So we got a couple of boxes of the DDE Super Gloss 720 GTR pink right here. And we have the car actually being delivered right now by Ply Car. So we got to go outside, take delivery of the car. We have a crazy couple of days. I'm only here in South Florida for two days for a very, very special event with Prestige Imports. Brett David invited Ryan and I to come to their big event. Plus, we will be doing, yes, yet another hypercar shopping scenario. I know I'm going a little crazy, but there is a crazy dip in the market right now. And I truly believe that this is the best buying opportunity to pick up a couple of my all-time favorite cars that have finally come down in price a little bit that I know eventually will go back up in price will be the best investments I could possibly make to park some of my money. So right now, let's go outside and we should have, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Flycar himself. Well, not myth himself, but what's up? How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on the top floor again. I'm in the back. Uh, you're take it off, right? Yeah. So this is the exact same driver, Arrow, who came and picked up my Murcielago when we finished wrapping it here at Protective Film Solutions in the Nardo Gray, the Inozatec Nardo Gray. And I got the insane blue Alcantara interior from E3 Customs. So now he's delivering the Carbon Senna. I couldn't be more excited to have this car here because it's finally gonna get some PPF. It's got nothing on it. I cannot believe that the previous owner put a thousand miles on this car with no protection on the carbon. Oh, there she is. Man, look at that. Good. I wish I was that young anymore. <laughs> <laughs> did it jump up like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I pulled something when I did that, so don't worry. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I know, right? How do we get in the door? I'm going to show you. There's a towel in there. We're going to put up against the door. Yeah. Open the door up. You're going to sneak through. You're going to have to. I'm going to sneak through? Yes. I'm 215 pounds. Here. You're not bigger than Mike. Are you bigger than Mike? <laughs> Way bigger than Mike. Are you Michael correct? Essa? Bro, Mike's like this big. Watch what you walk. Walk on the side. All right. <laughs> Mike got in. I can get in. We'll see about that. I'm not so sure. Okay. I'll do my best. I'm going to try. What we're going to do, we're going to get the towel in the rack. Okay. This doesn't look sketchy at all. You want me to climb through the window? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, so what you gonna do? Pass by me, right? Okay. And then I'm, uh, you're gonna find a pop the door and then we're gonna put this over the door so you don't scratch it. Copy that. This is gonna be a little tight. Uh, uh, good thing I lost all that weight. Pop it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're gonna cover this over. Yeah, we might, ma we might make this happen. The trick is, how do I? <laughs> oh. All right, I'm in. in? Yeah, right. I think so. All right. Close the door. Woo. All right. All right, start it up, do your thing, and I'll get you going. Okay, yes, sir. It's already, it's already in the voice. It's already in the air. Okay. Where's the key? Key not found, it says. It's humid here. And just doing that little bit of like squeezing through gets hot. Ah, I'm excited. Are you guys pumped? The Senna is about to get one of my all time favorite liveries that I've ever seen on a car, on a race car, put on this car. It's very intricate. It's a very high maintenance livery. I will explain why in a little bit. Only Ryan's team would I even come close to trusting to try to install this on this car. And it's gonna be used in partnership with my 720 GTR Pink by Inozatec. So it's 
it's gonna be a combination of two or three colors. The prominent color will be the pink. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Of course, I have custom wheels to go with it, to tie it all together. Just like how I designed the wheels with AL13 for the uh, SVJ. Thanks, boss. The wheels for this car are gonna tie the whole story of the livery together for this car. You guys ready? I'm gonna hit the start button here on the roof. That's good, the car started. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I'll watch you. Okay. We're gonna follow his instructions. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Into the light I go. This is the worst part. It's like the scariest part because you're in the air. You can see how far the drop is. But we're going down now, boys and girls. Let's go, DD fam. The eagle is landed. <laughs> Let's go. I'm trying to avoid all this traffic. Park it on the park it on the sidewalk for now. Put the lift down. Put the park brake on. Let me let her run for a sec. Sometimes when these things are on transport for like five or six days and they haven't been turned on, they haven't been on a trickle charger, it's good to just let it run for a sec, make sure that the battery is fully charged. McLarens are super finicky like that. If the battery power is at all, the voltage is at all below, it's like a Murcielago in that sense, it can freak out. But because it's not as archaic as a Murcielago, this car really relies on, it's beeping at me. Oh, no seatbelt, it's all good. Uh, this car really relies on, obviously, electronics to function and has a lot of tech in it. So they start to go a little crazy if you don't drive them frequently frequently, and at least turn them on all the time. We've gone over that. Okay, door handles in the legendary spot on the roof. Oh, the police just went by. Huge shout out to Ply Car, you guys. If you need some automotive logistics, give these guys a call. I will put a link into our description. Now, let's go and check out the Senna in this gorgeous, South Florida Sun here at Protective Film Solutions. I can't wait to get this underway, this project, because I definitely want to get all of this carbon fiber protected. This is the investment right here, is having the exposed. Look at the carbon in that Florida Sun, you guys. Every inch of this car. We're gonna do an expel PPF over the entire car. That's step one. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the livery vinyl over top of the expel. Then we need to take yet more expel and cover certain high impact areas of the vinyl wrap to make sure it doesn't get damaged so it's easy to clean. And on top of that expel, we're even gonna go as far as ceramic coating the top layer of this whole car. It is one of the biggest, if not biggest, vinyl projects you could possibly do to a car. And it is extremely tedious because of the Senna. The Senna has 67 carbon panels or panels of the car. Every one of them has to be covered. Ryan was telling me that it's like 150, I believe, pieces of PPF they have to cut in order to cover all 67 panels properly. Because certain panels aren't done in one piece. So what do you think? That's okay. <laughs> it's freaking nuts. It's just kind of okay, huh? I, You know I love this car. They're crazy. This uh, this thing is just sex on wheels. The bang for the buck is what I like to say. Uh, uh, like, it's just a lot of bucks. It's a lot of bucks, but... A lot of bang. When you consider what else is in that hypercar category that you can buy for that $1.5 million mark that has everything and checks all the boxes that this car checks, everything else is like three million and up. Let's get into that. You're already ta talking to me about something, so tell me. We can't wrap these. The fins? No. That's fine, we'll they keep need, them. They need to stay carbon. Well, that's the thing. It's like there are gonna need to be accent carbon pieces to this so that it looks cool still and it's not complete. It's not gonna be every panel wrap. I think this needs to stay carbon and this to carry the carbon. Yeah. We'll do that as we go. We'll figure but, it out. But that's what I would I would do if it was mine. There's some area, you definitely, because like that snorkel, the snorkel needs to stay carbon. You think so? I think so. 
probably does need to stay carbon. Because with what we're doing, that's gonna stand out. 67 panels on this car. How many pieces were you saying of Expel have to be used? I will check, but I think it's it's either 135 or 153. I think I have the numbers of this, but I think it's 153 individual pieces of film that go on this car. Whoa! <laughs> so by the time you do the full body clear bra, and then you go back and do the vinyl, and then you go back and do more clear bra, and then you do the ceramic, roughly how long? Oh my God. This is a two to three week project. Woo! Well, we're gonna have to make the most of the next two days with this car, because after that, we ain't gonna see it probably more than once as a little update, and then the final completed project. So take it all in, you guys. I don't do this much anymore, the montages, but let's hit a montage. I got some really unfortunate news. By the way, say hi to Ben. Ben was on Fire Rally with me, and I know you guys want all the dirty secrets about Fire Rally. It's what we coined it, the whole supercar rooms rally that was a disaster. But it's really hard to put that story together. There's a lot of different people involved. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. So we're trying to see if we can put something cohesively together to explain it. But anyhow, we're not getting into that in this video. So Ryan brought the Senna inside for us and washed the car, which is great. The car looks absolutely amazing and he put some decals on so that we have a little bit of branding for tomorrow's big event that we're doing with brett david down at prestige imports so we got a little pfs here and a little hit hit of the dd back there but we just found some damage now disclaimer this was already done to the car so i went back and looked at some videos i just didn't notice it so it's this is not a ply car issue they brought my car to me and it came with this i just didn't notice it and i looked at some previous videos and it was already there i don't know how this happened but it's not not an impact, it's from, I think a flex. Yes, a flex, not the type of flex I want. I have a huge crack in my windscreen. Do you see that? Look at that, see that crack? Runs all the way down into this corner. And that's why I said it's not an impact because it starts right here and there's no chip or anything and it just runs up to about here. So that sucks because I would imagine a windscreen for a Senna is not cheap. Now, here's the good news. Uncle Ray Ray happens to have a Senna windscreen sitting at SR Auto Group. So I could probably get Uncle Ray Ray to hook me up and give me a deal on his Senna windscreen. Cause I also know he had a set of brakes for this car, but I don't think I'm ever gonna go through the brakes. But Raymond might wanna do maybe a package deal. So I get brakes and a windscreen. That's not the way I wanted to start off this trip with the Senna. You are going to the event tomorrow too. This is a toy drive, 300 plus supercars and hypercars, police escort. That means we need to go buy some toys. We do. So where are we going? Target, Target? Target. Target as the Canadians like to say it. It's very fancy here, Tarje. It is fancy. Yeah. Dude, that sucks. You know what? At least it's not going across the windshield and it's going down the sides. So it's going like up and coming yeah. back in. So at 200, we'll just lose a chunk of the windscreen at some point. That's on the passenger. Yeah, my side. That's on the passenger side. This not the driver's problem. No. Yeah, that's why it was all of a sudden. My, the one that's gonna have like glass in my face tomorrow. So yes. Like it's Senna glass. It's Senna glass. Yeah, you should be grateful for that. Be grateful for that. <laughs> Olga, are we gonna go get some toys for the kids? Yes, I'm ready to. All right, let's go. Let's go for a cruise. We'll take the beach. We'll go buy some toys in the toy. Cold start. We're gonna follow you to Target to buy some toys for the kids. Oh, Florida streets. How crazy are these cars? Like the spaceship feeling? I love this thing. All the glass, the glass in the room. I, love the, I, I still like the doors if you can see out. So I know it's kind of gimmicky, but it's let, pretty cool. Let's talk about this. Okay, because we need to talk about the wrap design. Yep. Do we leave the doors 
exposed and not put oh, I love that we have eco mode on by the way I think we wrap we, it because we we can leave this till the end and yeah. then we see what it looks like but I think unfortunately we're gonna have to cover it get that I, I want the LM look yeah and the LM car has that cover so we would cover it on the outside but also covered on the inside so we don't see the back of a sticker just do something like satin black on the inside we can do satin black because the we don't know what color the backing is going to be of the vinyl. So. Right. And we're going to talk about all that when we get back to Ryan's shop. I'll give you guys an overview of how much work and what we're going to do. So stick around because you're going to get a teaser of the livery when we get back. I'm going to give you a lot of details and I'm going to give you even what type of wrap we're going to be using. I think you guys are going to be very shocked because it's not just the pink we're using. There's a very, very expensive second portion of this wrap that is required to create the look that I want. I don't want to be in a turn lane. I was just complaining about Florida drivers, and then here I am. You're a Florida driver. I'm a Florida driver now. <laughs> I've only been here a handful of times, not even, and I have become a Florida driver. No turn signals and complete disregard of anybody around you. Right? You fit in. How, how hard is it to go from Florida bad driver to Florida man? In the Florida man thing, it's like a thing, right? Yeah. That's like when you're like, you're just, you do all sorts of weird, crazy yep. stuff. Yep. I just gotta go jump on an alligator. You could do that. Could I? Yeah. Can we go? I told you. Remember, so alligator think, hunting. So we're, we've got to change. So it's on the on the west coast of Florida. Yeah. About an hour north of Fort Myers. Okay. Night night alligator. At night. Boar. Wild boar. Do we get night vision goggles? Yes, and it comes Shut with night vision goggles. Yep, ask Alina, she'll show you all about it. And like we lasers and stuff? Yeah. I want them to have no chance. Oh no, this is, <laughs> this is. You really don't want either of those animals to have a chance against you. Yeah. A wild boar is so dangerous. Yeah. And alligators, just as dangerous. Yeah. Take my word for it. If you don't, just try to, just try to give one a hug. <laughs> is that legal? They're in a, they're in a golf cart it's on the totally street. Legal here. Shut up. No, it's got a license plate on it. No way. Nice parking job. What did I do? Nice park job. Oh, that park sideways? <laughs> oh, okay, I want to make sure that people know not to get into my Santa bubble. <laughs> That's not that bad. Come on. Oh, no, it's pretty close. It's a little crooked. Those turned out really good. That, that was, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That was your idea, the branding. The branding looks good. Is it safe to leave it unlocked here? Or? I wouldn't do that. What? I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't? It's Florida. I saw you put anything. I saw you put the, the top up. All right, lock. Okay, let's go get a donation. By the way, they said get whatever fits in your car. We're gonna get a Hot Wheels car. Yeah, we're gonna have to get something small. Very small. I was gonna say that means I'm. You know, I'm carrying something. I'm putting everything on Ryan's lap. So it's for the kids, Ryan. I don't know. For great. the kids. Thanks. Gift cards. There you go. That's all that's gonna fit. Twenty thousand dollars worth of gift cards. Yeah. Oh, I have the perfect toy to sit on your lap. Can I, can I just you ride can, that there? You can comb its hair. <laughs> You want to ride this on the way there? All right. Get up, get up, get up. Ben's going all in because yeah. he brought a shopping cart. A, uh, he actually has a Lamborghini, so. Because it's 69. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, dude. That's it's the it's number on our car. Okay, you have to get that now. Yeah, that's it. mandatory. Dude, it's got shocks. Would you look at that? That's pretty cool. Okay, I got to find something that's going to fit my car. So I need something for a boy and something for a girl. Got to make it even. Okay, I found the smallest toy here. <laughs> really? This is what? we're gonna fit in the center. We're like the same height. Think it'll fit? We're the same height. That's not gonna fit. This is like you. That is amazing. You need amazing. to wrap car in the blue and buy this helmet. That's a cop car. <laughs> mm? a cop car. No <laughs> cop. Hey, look, Olga, I don't want to get pulled over by my own toys, okay? All jokes aside, Barbie's in right now because of the movie. And this stuff will definitely fit behind the seat. We're gonna go with a Ken. We're gonna get a Ken or two. 
couple different versions of Barbie. Okay, that's a good start. We got three, maybe we go four. Christmas Barbie, let's go. Okay, for the girls. Now, listen, this is how we're gonna judge this. This is what you have room for. In the Senna, this is what I have room for. Good way to do it. That is a really good way. And that's already almost full, so. Almost full. That's what I got. Yes, those are amazing. Every kid loves a stuffy. Yep. I know where all the toys are. Hot Wheels and cars. We need some cars for the boys, of course. Hey, that's pretty cool. Monster trucks, that's cool. That's got it. Monster trucks is cool, very cool. Cars. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Four GT. That works. Oh, that yes. works. That is. And I need a couple more to even things out. These are appropriate size for the back of the Santa, if I can fit those. Let's see. Cars? I love these. These are sick. So we're going to get some of these. The official cars. Yeah. What did you find? Oh yeah, a La Ferrari. Let's go, a yes. Perta. Wow, I'm in for that. Oh, oh my God, Lamborghini yes. the Nino. Mm -hmm. That's sick. I was about to say I'm keeping that one. Ryan hit the jackpot of supercars. Look at this, an SP1. That's cool. We're getting that. This is so cool. What else did you SF90? find? SF90. I saw something else back there. What did you got? 5050 GT. Oh, old school. That'd be very expensive. Put that back. Put that back. That's like 35 million dollars. <laughs> I think we are good. Time to hit the checkout. And pay. Well, we did pretty good. Now we need to make sure that my calculations of whether or not this will fit behind the headset or headrest of the Senna. A Ventador with a straight pipe. Dude, that guy's getting after it, okay? Getting after it. All right, let's see if it all fits. See right here. See it's there. pretty impressive, actually, that you're getting this all in. I'm not gonna lie. And right there. And then the, the stuffed we'll animals will hold down. it all together, right? Yep, that's why I did them last. We got this one right here. Yeah. This one will have to listen to rattle for a 45 minute drive in the morning. And that's it. Dude, that's Boom. actually pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Eh? Nice work, brother. Eh? Nice not work. Bad, eh, nice baby? work. Look in the back oh window. Oh my gosh, that's funny. It's an oh. expensive Santa sleigh. Look at all the toys in the back window right in front of the engine. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, the only person I will trust to drive this at the moment because he's rich enough to replace it if it gets wrecked is Ryan. He's gonna drive the Senna and I'm going to film some rollers because the Sony has the sickest low light capabilities. And that way Olga also gets kicked out of the Huracan and gets to go for a ride along in the Senna. I couldn't film that part when he got naked. Oh yeah. I'll tell you this. He could benefit from using Manscaped. <laughs> Dude, what are we doing here? So there's the answer I was requesting. What's it take to be a full on Florida man? There you go. It just requires absolutely zero. I think he has a speed limit on. Do you have the limit? You have the limiter past, on? Wouldn't go past 2,000 RPM. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't. This deep scares me. It wouldn't go. It would go to 2,000 and stop. Yeah, hold on. Uh, you got the limiter off, and you got the lift down. Do you need any other uh, instructions, sir, before you drive my vehicle back? You're not gonna do like that guy at the stoplight stand. <laughs> So you can put a limiter on the car, a speed limit. Was stuck on 30 with the lift up. He's good. I turned it off. Ryan. I give Ryan a Santa. That's funny. It's funny actually that you can put a limiter on it. We got a red light. Is this a race? Right to the train stack. Right to the train. Hey, you know what? Set up. See those tracks up ahead? 
That's exactly a quarter mile, and I live my life a quarter mile at a time. When the light goes green, I'm going for it from the passenger seat. <laughs> All the Fast and the Furious quotes. Let's do it. Yeah, that's the send. I got Ryan driving it so I can film it. Dude, that thing's sick. I've never seen one of those in person. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the first time. Well, I'm in your way. Hold on, I'll put the camera down. Yeah. smashing into the wheel liners. The carbon wheel liners. You know what, the next Batman movie should have a Senna for Batman. Oh. Gotta love it when we pick up a, just a random supercar enthusiast. How was that? I think so much fun to drive. Right? Yeah, it's hard to not, how do you not like it? When we were on the outside and you took that corner and we could hear all the all the rocks yeah, hitting it, I was like, oh, it's just as brutal on it's the like outside. It's 20 times light, louder on the inside. Oh, it's way louder on yeah. the inside. Yeah. There it is, the Batmobile. You What's How your you name? Doing? Corey. Corey, nice to meet you, I bro. saw you on the rally a few weeks ago. Oh, were you in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, it looked familiar because for some reason I remembered the last four digits of your plate. The New York, yeah. Yeah, you and the New York. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> just the right time. Perfect and then timing. We all caught that light. Yeah, I know. I was like, that worked. Yeah, that worked out really good. Mm. All right. You guys want to know? a little teaser of what the livery is gonna look like. I'll give you a little bit. So we're gonna use the brand new Inoza Tech yeah. pink, which we have right here. And we had a little piece right here I can steal, or we had a piece. Here, we'll grab that roll. That's easier. I showed them that already in the video. This will be on, starting somewhere around here, from here all the way to the back of the car. Now the front, I have a very, very, very special type of material for the front. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what that is. You're gonna have to, to see that and we'll come back and we'll do a progress update video, obviously with Ryan and the team, somewhere in the middle of this car being done. The crazy part is before he can even put any of that vinyl on here to do the actual livery, you're gonna PPF the entire car. Every square inch is gonna get expelled paint protection. Yeah. So all we're talking like what, 10 days before we even start? Before doing... we even start the color, we gotta cover it. So it's gotcha. 10 days just to do this car. All right, and you've seen my idea for the livery. It's pretty bad. It actually is a little bit of a throwback to something you had. Yes. So is. I don't want to give it away that's too why much. I but really like it. if you had all of Ryan's old car liveries in your head or you knew how to find them, it is very similar to one of the liveries he did on his McLaren. It's just a different change of colors. Twist of a twist. A twist. But this is gonna look great. I think it's gonna look nuts on this car. So and I ordered the exhaust, downpipes, catalyst, of course, and the billet inlets. And we will be getting a tune done, flame tune, of course. And we'll be doing all of that here in Southern Florida. So stay tuned for that, but it won't happen until the new year because ordering the titanium and the materials through Unobtainium, which will be building this, they're also the same group of guys, or guy, Chris, who built my very custom in canal slash titanium exhaust for my Carrera GT. So that exhaust was insane. And I have no doubt that his exhaust is the best sounding exhaust possible for a McLaren or the Senna. So that's it. Tomorrow we have a big day, big drive, big cruise, 300 plus cars. Can't wait. Rock and roll, 6 a.m. We'll see you guys in the next video.